Hi folks, Khan here from Audio Advisor, and today we're going to be talking about a very cool machine, the Audio Desk Vinyl Cleaner Pro Vinyl Cleaning Machine. Now that we've taken the liberty of unboxing the unit and filling up the bath with concentrated cleaning solution and one gallon of distilled water, I wanted to point out some of the other features of this machine. Well, one, what makes this machine different than all the other cleaning machines on the market? Well, it uses ultrasonic technology to create cavitation bubbles that help loosen and, re and, and bring to the surface the most stubborn, the most stuck on dirt that's way down inside those grooves. Uh, and then once that is done, you'll see there are four microfiber brushes that brush that dirt away from the surface of the record to then get filtered out by the filter that's in the back of the machine. Secondly, that uses an air drying method versus a vacuum drying method. The advantage to air drying is that as the record is being dry, dry it, is, uh, it is not going to get statically charged. So that's a big feature. So that record, once it's clean, it's not only going to be cleaner than new, it, but it also will be completely discharged of static as well. So that's a big uh, feature. So your records are going to actually stay cleaner for longer. Um, the, to use the machine, uh, you want to make sure that it is on a level surface, so you will see that there is a bubble level in the, in the back of the unit. And then on the front, you'll see a power button and a start button. Obviously, if I just press this button, it will start cleaning the, uh, cleaning the record. Uh, the button does offer several other features, from increasing the cleaning time to increasing the drying time. So definitely visit your very nice manual to tell you on exactly on how to get those steps engaged. Uh, next, we want to show you this machine in action, so I'm going to grab a really dirty record and we can show you exactly how well this machine does its job. Alright, as you can see, this record by no stretch of the imagination is even remotely clean and we purposely did that. We set this record out and also mishandled it to show uh, how well actually this machine works. So you will see body oil stains, there's some dust and dirt that's stuck in the grooves and this machine is going to get, take care of all of that and bring this record to better than new condition. So what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place the record in the machine. and then go ahead and press the start button. Turn it on and then press the start button. What will start happening is the bath will start to fill up. It's gonna get fairly close to the top of the machine uh, before, uh, before it actually stops filling. Now, if you don't get automatic rotation, on some, uh, some, in some instances it may not start on its own, and if that's the case, that's completely normal, go ahead and place your finger at the 12 o'clock position and move it down to the 9 o'clock position, and the records should start rotating automatically. So right now, it is in a cleaning stage, and we're gonna kinda just let it do its thing. Now that we heard the chimes, that indicates that the record is ready to be played. Um, and as you can see, the Vinyl Cleaner Pro Machine has just done an absolutely remarkable job of rejuvenating this record to better than new condition. And, and uh, it's ready to be played right from, the, right, right from the cleaning machine right to your record player. Thanks for watching our video on the Autodesk Vinyl Cleaner Pro cleaning machine. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because we will be rolling out some more videos on great audio gear. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day. So this is the back of the unit and uh, we'll take the opportunity really quickly to show you the back fan here which is used in the drying uh, uh, stage of the Vinyl Cleaner Pro. Pro, and then down here is the drain plug. So this is where you're going to want to drain the flu fluid if it's uh, dirty or if you're going to go between prolonged uh, cleaning sessions. And we found that the liquid does come out very quickly, uh, so we advise to do this in the sink and also if you're going to be storing the liquid, to grab a bucket uh, so the liquid can be poured into that. Uh, so as you can see, it comes out fairly quickly. We're just going to go ahead and drain the whole th unit right now because it's going to be a while for us the next, for the next time we use it. And just to make sure it's fully empty, I, I would like to kind of tip it out a little bit, drain the last little bit of fluid that's in there. And there we go.
Return the cap, the machine's good to go.